Well, the unpredictable British weather means that we have to be prepared for pretty much anything. If it's not having enough grit to keep our roads ice free, it's ensuring floodwaters don't submerge our towns. Well, now the Environment Agency has rolled out its temporary flood defence kit to show the residents of Sandwich in Kent that they mean business if or when we get the perfect storm. David Wright has our report. A high spring tide is the ideal time to test a flood defence, especially when there's plenty of rain to increase the volume of water flowing into our rivers. Today, the Environment Agency deployed its 180 metre demountable flood defence along the Sandwich Quay to put the response team through their paces and reassure the locals. The area is vulnerable, as these pictures show. Once the water's breached the quay wall, there's nothing to stop the water crossing the car park and into the town. However, there is a permanent solution in the pipeline. The scheme is quite literally to um, open up a space downriver to allow for the um, flooding that would impact on Sandwich Town itself to take over um, a salt marsh area. That flooding, once passed, will be allowed to drain back to the river and a natural environment for wading birds um, will have been created. The wall can be put into position within a couple of hours and can be used anywhere in the southeast. Water enters the sections and pushes it down to the ground, creating a seal. The figure of eight blocks links the sections together. The town's mayor says it's essential to have this type of thing in place to reduce the risk of flooding, as the economic future of the town is being jeopardised. It is a restriction on, on the development of the town, and I think we do need to have it. It needs to develop, it needs to, to have industry, it needs to have jobs, it needs to have all that. And flooding does set us back a bit. With this option that we've got, hopefully, we'll give people more confidence to come here and set up businesses. The wall was completed in about an hour and a half, which is about the time it took the river Stour to rise four feet. Nature is a powerful force, but the Environment Agency says it's doing all it can to stop it in its tracks. David Wright and Sandwich for Meridian tonight. In other news, a man was left stranded on a window ledge in Brighton today. 